Our Math Talino Classroom Random Math Problem for this video is a sample of puzzles called Alphametics. Alphametics are math puzzles in which the digits, usually in an addition sentence, are replaced by letters. To answer this type of puzzles, we have to take note of these two obvious rules. First, each letter corresponds to a unique digit. The same letter stands for the same digit. And second, the digit 0 is not allowed to be in the leftmost digit in the addends or sum. One of the famous alphametics is made by Henry Dudenay, a mathematician specialized in logic puzzles. His alphametics says send plus more equals money. So, for our Math Talino Classroom Random Math Problem, find the unique solution to this alphametic. Math plus math equals habit. Can you do it in 60 seconds? You give it a try and comment down your answer before I show the unique solution. This time, let's look for the unique solution to this problem. Remember, in order to solve this problem, it would be better to follow some sort of logical reasoning than merely doing trial and error. So to start, notice the extra letter in the sum found in the 10,000s place, which is the letter H. What digit do you think it represents? Alright, take note that the largest sum that we can get in adding two digits is 18, that is, if both digits are 9. With that, by adding m plus m, even if we anticipate the possibility that there is a carryover of 1 from the hundreds place, the most that we can have is 18 plus 1 or 19. Hence, the corresponding digit for the letter H must be 1. It follows that all the other H's will be replaced by 1. We are now doing pretty good. Next, in the 1's place, we have 1 plus 1, which is obviously equal to 2. It follows that the letter T is equal to the digit 2. And also, we replace all the remaining t's by 2. This time, for the tens place, we have 2 plus 2, which is obviously equal to 4. It means that the letter i is equal to the digit 4. Okay, we are almost done. At this point, we go back with m plus m. It must be obvious that the possible digits for m are 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, since m plus m must be equal to 10 or up. We may test for each possible digit to find the correct one for m. Suppose m is equal to 9. So, we replace letter M by 9. If we assume that there is a carryover of 1, 
then 9 plus 9 plus 1 is equal to 19. And so, the letter A must be 9. However, that cannot be because we already suppose that M is equal to 9. We cannot assign two different letters for the same digit. So, we proceed with the next assumption that there is no carryover. Then, 9 plus 9 is equal to 18. And so, the letter A must be 8. Replacing all A's by 8, it will contradict our assumption that there is no carryover because 8 plus 8 is equal to 16. And apparently, there is a carryover of 1. In either assumption, with carryover or none, it is not possible that M is equal to 9. So, we proceed. Suppose that M is equal to 8. So, we replace M by 8. If we assume that there is a carryover of 1, then 8 plus 8 plus 1 is equal to 17. And so, the letter A must be 7. There's no conflict so far. We replace all A's by 7. However, 7 plus 7 is equal to 14, which means B must be equal to 4. But B cannot be equal to 4, since the letter I is already equal to 4. So, we proceed with the next assumption, that there is no carryover. Then, 8 plus 8 is equal to 16. And so, the letter A must be 6. Replacing all A's by 6, it will again contradict our assumption that there is no carryover because 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. And obviously, there is a carryover of 1. In either assumption, with carryover or none, it's not possible that M is equal to 8. Next, we suppose that M is equal to 7. So, we replace letter M by 7. If we assume that there is a carryover of 1, then 7 plus 7 plus 1 is equal to 15. And so, the letter A must be 5. No conflict so far. So, we replace all A's by 5. Now, 5 plus 5 is equal to 10, which means B must be equal to 0. And finally, we found our solution to the problem. To be sure that this is the only possible solution to the problem, we can actually continue with the assumption that there is no carryover and we will fail. The same is true if we suppose that the letter M is equal to either 6 or 5. Hence, the only solution to the given alphametic is H equals 1, T equals 2, I equals 4, M equals 7, A equals 5, and B equals 0. I hope you have learned something from our episode, Math Talino Classroom, Random Math Problem. Until next time, 